Hey guys, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson from Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about setting up a test view in Google Analytics. So I'll come over here to our screen capture, and uh, this was a question that actually came in off a blog comment. Um, you know, this blog here is about setting up a uh, URL filter to combine AMP URLs with the parent URL in Google Analytics and I've got a little regular expression within this post and somebody had a question about the regular expression and I gave them a new one and then they kinda and I told them you know test out that um, new regex and they asked what do you mean what by a test view can't find one in analytics or what do you do so today we're gonna be talking a little bit more about that um, and I will pop over here to Google Analytics and we're on the tortoise and hare software website here and what I'm gonna do is come down here to the admin section of Google Analytics um, so I've clicked on the gear settings down here and there's three kind of sections within this there's a account level um, group a property group and a view group um, and if I click on the drop down here within the views, you can see that there's two different views within this um, property and an all website data and a common filters view. Um, so the all website data view is something that you want to leave pretty much as is, do not modify it in any way. And pretty much as soon as I uh, create a new property, I'm going to set up a separate view. Um, because that all website data, that raw unfiltered view, always gives you a baseline to go back to if there is any issues because you can always segment out data um, to kind of mimic the performance of your filters and um, you don't want to lose, lose like have a complete blackout period on your analytics. Um, so always the best practice to leave that all website data view alone and set up a separate view for your actual tracking. And that's what I've done here. Um, and I apply several kind of common filters uh, to uh, the analytics. For instance, we only do business with United States companies, so in general, I only care about United States based traffic. So that's one of the first views I apply is filtering out any hits that are from other countries. Um, but, you know, this particular um, question was about combining URLs um, based off a regular expression and that's really something um, and when you start doing URL filters you want to set up a test view to test that sort of activity um, so to create that test view what you'll do is you just come here and click this create view button and you can name it test view and configure your uh, country and your time zone and just hit create view. So now that we're in this uh, kind of create view um, section, um, you can come down here and apply the filter that you want to. So you can see that there's no filters. Um, if you look at goals, there's no goals configured on this one. If I go back to my common filters here, you can see there's several goals configured on this one and multiple filters as well. Um, but we're testing something specific here, so we just want to make sure that um, it's working correctly. And a lot of times you want to test that against your all um, website data view, because um, that one's going to have the most uh, test data available within it. Um, so what I would do here is come down here and add a filter, testing AMP uh, regex, custom filter, and we're filtering on let's see what are we filtering on in this one oh, we're doing a search and replace filter Okay, so search string, replace string. So I'm over here in a tool called Rebular, and I've set up, you know, kind of several test data for this um, specific um, case. 
And you can see that there's a number of different kind of cases we have to consider if we wanted to roll everything up into you, your URL when talking about like AMP um, filters. So there's a number of ways that we could see that slash AMP at the end. There's just slash AMP with no trailing slash, slash AMP with a trailing slash. It could be as a query parameter. It could be as a query parameter with multiple parameters after that. It could be as a, um, a, a, a slash with query parameters after that, a slash with a trailing slash and optional query parameters after that. So there's really a lot of different cases that we need to test here. And we also need to make sure that if amps for some reason appears in the middle of the URL and not at the end that we're not matching that. So I've created a regular expression here to kind of go for all those cases. Um, and we can see just from kind of some testing that it's working here within Rubular. Um, but you know something just at the end, we're doing a greedy match of like all these various query parameters. So there's really a high amount of potential to um, kind of make an error here and filter out things that we don't necessarily want to filter out um, within our analytics. Um, so that's why it's important to create a test view. But what we'll do here is come over to the um, take our regular expression and put in our search string and then our replace string is going to be just a slash at the end because we're going to roll everything up into the um, parent URL. And then just hit uh, save. So we've created a test view, we've created our test filter, and what we'd want to do is let this run for a week, a month, or whatever the appropriate amount of time would be to um, collect some data within our all, all website data view and then be able to come and compare and make sure that we're uh, matching on the appropriate um, URLs that we want to match on and not uh, matching on too many URLs and just in general that the data quality is where we want it to be um, by comparing the hit results from our test view with that of our all website data view. And uh, that's it. Um, so the, in this video, we kind of went over how to create a test view within Google Linux and looked at a uh, case for why we want to do that when we're trying to configure a match on AMP URLs and rolling those up to the parent URL in Google Analytics. So hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just let us know in the comments below. We'll be happy to come back and answer them for you. Uh, and if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, until next time, thank you.